Good morning, Steelmen. My name is Rodrigo, and today is Wednesday, February 5th, also known as World Nutella Day. Nutella is a spread flavored with hazelnut and cocoa, first introduced in Italy in 1964. The product is popular throughout the world. World Nutella Day, first held in 2007, was the brainchild of Nutella enthusiast and blogger Sarah Russo. Fans love it. Each year, Nutella maker Ferrero selects one Nutella lover to lead the celebration. On February 5th, Nutella fans post pictures, recipes, messages, and messages declaring their love and loyalty to the popular spread. If you've never tried Nutella, I don't know what to tell you. But you can find it at almost any grocery store. Pick up a tub of the creamy mixture. Putting it down, though, will be the hard part. There are lots of pre recipes online for baking with Nutella, but that doesn't mean you can't come up with your own. The company encourages fans to explore new ideas for baking with Nutella and to spread the word when they come up with something delectable. World Nutella Day offers a host of opportunities for Nutella fanatics to get involved. You can host a Nutella party, write a Nutella poem or song, or create some Nutella art. You can also share photos and recipes on social media using the hashtag World Nutella Day. Did you know it was an accident? No. There was a shortage of cocoa in, Pi in the Piedmont region of Italy back in the 1800s. To stretch the supply, chocolate was mixed with ground hazelnuts, and the kids went crazy for it. When the cocoa supply returned, the kids refused to switch back. Nutella became the creamy version of the mixture, which was initially produced in blocks. Cool. This month's Instagram-worthy theme explores the idea that although we are many, although we're all different and unique, we are also one, that our differences are what makes our union strong, that each of us brings our unique strengths to this school, this city, this nation, this world to make these things stronger, better, and more beautiful. We celebrate our diversity and our unification, our university. This is your Steel Mill News. We'll have a meeting this Friday, February 7th, in room 337 to make Valentine's Day cards for kids at La Revita's Children's Hospital and plan for the Valentine's Day potluck. Come join us and bring a friend. Saga will meet in room 331 today after school. All are welcome to attend. See Miss Guidinger with any questions. Attention students, Black and White Dance is Saturday, February 8th from 6 to 9 p.m. Tickets are now on sale in the bookstore. Please make sure all your fees are paid. If you have any questions, please email or see Ms. Sieper. Students and staff, representatives from Aurora University will be in room 279 today during third period. The JTC Journal is looking for submissions of art, photography, ugh, photography, photography. Ph photography, there we go. I don't know why I said photograph. Touchdown. The JTC Journal is looking for submissions of art, photography, poetry, and short stories in English and Spanish for our 2020 Literary Magazine. All submissions are welcome and encouraged. Please submit your work to jtc.journal at gmail.com by February 20th. Don't miss an opportunity to get your artwork published, Steelman. Are you interested in attending cosmetology school during your senior year? If so, make sure you check out the Professionals' Choice Open House on Saturday. February 29th. If you can't make it, you can contact Stephanie Hansen at 815-741-8224 or email at schooljt at aol.com to make an appointment to tour the center on a different day. On Friday, February 28th, 2020, Joliet Central High School will partner with Lewis University to host a free one-day event called the Fulfilling the Dream Conference designed to equip its participants, particularly African-American students, with the skills, tools, and resources to overcome barriers on enrolling in higher education. 
Participants will learn about accountability, leadership development, and the college application and admissions process. Will work towards their individual educational goals and will have the opportunity to experience a collegiate environment. Stop by the Joliet Central Counseling Office to pick up the registration and information packet. Deadline to register is February 21st, 2020. Varsity Cheer is going to the IHSA State Cheerleading Competition for the second year in a row. The team plays second place at sectionals and will compete on February 7th in Bloomington. Come support the cheerleader cheerleaders by going on the fan bus. We need you there, Steelman. Yes, we do. Congratulations are in order for the varsity chess team as they just finished an amazing run at chess sectionals at Andrew High School. The Ponza Steel ran through the first three rounds undefeated with an average margin of victory of 27 points. The championship round was set as a Steelman, ranked number two, faced off against the also undefeated number one ranked Andrew. The Steelman lost in a thriller, but still remained the number two seed in the overall sectional. This is the highest ranking in JTHS school and district history. The Steelmen are led by a group of dedicated, experienced seniors and hungry yet optimistic freshmen. Congratulations to DJ Morales, Sergio Zavala, Paige Overcash, Jose Mendieta, Eduardo Alvarado, Vicky Kioborak, Matthew Buddy, Martin Linehan, Danny Kioborak, Daniel Carter and Tyler McDonald. Best of wishes, Steelman, as you prepare to receive your highest seeding in school's history as you enter the IHSA State Chess Tournament the weekend of February 13th through the 15th. Go Steelman. Go Steelman indeed. Today's lunch is barbecue pork rib sandwich, BBQ chicken flatbread, spicy breaded chicken sandwich, veggie burger, roast beef deli sandwich, chef salad with boiled eggs, cheese, crackers and breadstick, cheese and chicken taquitos, and your choice is up to four half cup servings of carrot with dip, romaine salad with dressing, marinara or salsa, sliced tomato, lettuce, and pickle diced peaches in your variety of fresh fruit and your choice of milk. Today's Daily Bad Trip of the Day du jour. My friend keeps saying, cheer up, man. It could be worse. You could be stuck underground in a hole full of water. I know he means well. On this day in history, in 1969, the US population reached 200 million. It's now 347.2 million. On this day in science history, in 1884, black American inventor Willis Johnson of Cincinnati, Ohio, was issued a U.S. patent for an egg beater. Maybe he should have called it a different name. Uh. It was designed so that eggs, batter, and similar ingredients used by bakers or confectioners were, could be mixed intimately and efficiently. Bang, now I want cake. On this day in music history, in 1940, Glenn Miller and his orchestra record Tuxedo Junction. On this day in sportsing history, in 1924, the first Winter Olympics Games closed in Chamoix, France. Today's musical lyric is a junction where the town folks meet. Each, at each junction, in a tux, they greet you. Come on down, don't forget your care. Come on down, you'll find me there. So long town, I'm heading for Tuxedo Junction now. Tuxedo Junction, music by Eric Hawken, Bill Johnson, Julian Dash, words by Buddy Fain. Today's inspiring quote, success is not final, failure is not faithful. It is the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill. Today's humorous quote, I never feel more alone than when I'm trying to put sunscreen on my back. Jimmy Kimmel. Today's weather. Cloudy. What else did you expect? Snow showers developing this afternoon. Temps nearly steady in the low to mid 30s. Winds northeast at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of snow is 40%. Tonight a low of 28 with 70% chance of snow. Tomorrow a high is 31 and more snow. 
Stay warm and safe out there. Woodchuck chuckers. Today's vocabulary word, aliacious, which means of, like, or pertaining to garlic, garlicky. Garlic, garlicky. So mom's garlic bread isn't just delicious, it's aliacious. It's the aliacious. It's but it's bodaliacious. It's fantalidacious. It's fantastalidacious. Just eat the bread. Thank you for all that bread stuff. Thanks for watching, Steelin. Have a great day and have a great safety awareness week. Yay, safety.